was a little town in the middle of nowhere, Arizona, named Seligman. We talked about the history in the first video, so I won't get too far into it in this one. We talked about the little shops and how it's iconic of Route 66. It's between Kingman and a little town called Ash Fork, with the OK Corral and the Roadkill Cafe, the charm of this little place, and the things that you get to see there are pretty breathtaking. Now, I had so much luck with the first time I went, but I wanted to go back again the very next day. So I brought a couple extra pieces of equipment that I hope you guys enjoy. And this time it was way more active, as you'll see. Now, you'll see a lot of things in this videos that look like the Cars movie, and that's actually accurate. It was the inspiration for Disney's The Cars movie. There's a bunch of little trucks and little iconic things all along the roadside. But, let's just get right into the video. Now, I'm going to include a video from the last clip just so you can hear it better as I was walking the property. But, I hope you enjoy this other little walk that shows a little more of what you can see if you go and visit there. mentioned in the first video, there's a cute little mock-up of an old western town. It includes a lot of shops, but none of them are actually businesses. It's simply a tourist attraction built by the Roadkill Cafe to attract those who come through the town, hoping they'll stop and grab a bite to eat. It's got all the bells and whistles of an old western town you see in the movies, right down to the outhouse. It's very creepy and very cool all at the same time. It's made up of a library, uh, a dentist office, Wells Fargo Bank, hotel and a gun shop. Between there is a little log cabin with a little white sign that says jail. This is the jail that we'll continue our journey at, testing my equipment, having a little fun along the way. But wait until you see this footage. It is pretty remarkable. Without further ado, let's get back into it. Enjoy the show. I haven't even set up stuff yet and the EMF is going nuts, but that might be because of the phones. Let me try this. No, it's still going off. <laughs> still going off. That's so awesome. Okay, so I've got two other devices, apps that I want to try. I don't really want to move it. So I've got two ghost tube apps here that I didn't try the other day that I want to try now. So this one's a regular ghost tube. It has the EMF, magnetic fear. I forget how to say that. But it's got the EMF, and it says behind you. you. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I just got goosebumps. I set a cat ball on that bench, and a cat ball up there on the right there, and they're already on. Wow! I can't believe that just said behind you. I have got goosebumps so bad right now. Look at. See him? My hair is just standing up on edge. Look at that. 
<laughs> oh, look. Oh my goodness. Look, it looks like a jail cell. That's the ghost tube sear. It literally looks like bars on a window, doesn't it? Wow. Ow. So yeah, that's how these work. I kind of want to put them... Whew. Maybe it said behind me because this is where I was the other day. Okay, that's listening. I cannot believe that did that. Wow, that was incredible. So yeah, we'll set them up like that. I haven't even set the flashlight up yet. <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna put that like that. So there's that. So there's that. So there's that. Is the sheriff here? Or is this somebody else? I'm going to set this up and try to... I'm going to try and get this flashlight on. Because they seem to really like the flashlight. If you're here, you can turn off that flashlight. Let me know that you're here. Or you can set off either one of these cat balls. I see you set off the EMF meter. Thank you. <laughs> Look at that. Hi. Am I still talking to the sheriff? If I am, can you turn that flashlight off? Wow. The EMF meter is going nuts. Look at that. Oh my gosh, and the flashlight just went off. Hi, Sheriff. Whew. <laughs> um, I just got to explain to you guys how these work. You can talk into this one, and it's listening, and it can say what you're saying, so you can use your voice. Oh, this one, look. Another hospital. She told me. And the flashlight just went on. And the EMF's going nuts again. Holy crap. <laughs> Thank you for that. Wow, look at the EMF. It's like spiking. Wow. All right. Um, are you okay with me being here? If you are, can you turn that flashlight back off? I'll give you 15 seconds. <sighs> Two, one, zero. If you don't, if you don't, if you don't like me being here, can you turn the flashlight off? If you don't want me here. <laughs> okay, that's clear as day. Wow. Were you a prisoner here? If you're a prisoner here, can you turn the flashlight back on or make one of these cat balls go off? Maybe the one in the cell over there. Oh, uh, EMF again. Up. EMF is still going crazy. Up. Are you up there? Oh, 
flashlights back on. <laughs> wow, look at the EMF. It's going absolutely bonkers. Are you stuck in this cell? If you're stuck here, unable to leave this cell, can you turn the flashlight back off? EMF. 15 seconds. If you're stuck here, can you turn that flashlight back off? All the way. I see you doing it. Put a little more energy into it. You can take energy from the batteries and my cameras. Are you stuck here in the cell? Unable to leave? Five, four, three, thank you. That really sucks. By the way, thank you for talking to me. You can also use these two devices right here. EMF. That EMF meter is going crazy. Oh. So the sear. Is that your home? Do you miss your home? Oh, flashlight. You can speak into this device right here and I can hear you. Can you maybe set off this cat ball right here? You're doing so well with the flashlight and the EMF. My name is Butterfly, I'm sorry, I forgot to introduce myself. <laughs> Hi there. Okay, there's so much activity. I think I'm going to do the spirit box. I've got a spirit box here. Would you like that? Would you like to try and communicate on that instead? Oh, EMF. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna turn the spirit box on. Four point nine right now. That probably was me with the cab all this time. Do not. Do not. I don't think I like the spirit box very much. I'm gonna guess that's a yes. Hi there. If you'd like to, you can talk to me through this. Please go. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Please go. Oh, and the seer. And that just went off. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I've got chills everywhere. Look at. You don't want to say hi to this spirit box? Can I stay for just a little bit longer? Is that okay? If that's okay, can you turn that flashlight off? Enough. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Are you angry because you're stuck here? Yeah. 
Is there anything I can do to make you feel better? Can you maybe tell me your name so I know who I'm speaking with? Hold me again. Can you say it a little bit clearer? It's all about the bing. It's all about the bing. Can you say your name? You're doing really well. Like I said, if you need more energy, you can take it from my batteries, um, from any of these phone batteries. I'm sorry, can you say that one more time? Was that your name? 200. 200 what? Can you maybe set off that cat ball again? That would be really cool. All you gotta do is get close to it and it'll go off like you did in the beginning. You know? Am I speaking with more than one spirit? How do, How do I feel? I'm pretty excited actually that you're so talkative. I'd like to know your name. There's four of you. If that's correct, can you turn that flashlight off if there's four spirits here? Thank you. Can you, one by one, slowly tell me your names? I just got a serious breeze on my right ear. <laughs> and again. Can you tell me your names for this box that I'm holding? One by one, very clearly so I can hear you. Maybe one of you can set off that cat ball that's in the, bar, in the bars over there. You've come a long way. Were you a traveler? I'm leaving. So, I'm sorry. Bye. <laughs> Thank you for talking to me. Is there anyone else that'd like to talk? Maybe you could say your name for this box right here. Teetering on 83. I didn't catch that. I'm sorry. Could you repeat that to the spirit box? There's the EMF again.
dead. I'm sorry you're dead. That must really suck. If you hate being dead, can you turn that flashlight off? I'll give you 15 seconds. Turn that flashlight off if it sucks to be dead. If you like being dead, can you turn that flashlight off? If you like being dead, if it's fun. Do you like it when people come here to see you? If you like it when people come in to see this place, can you turn off the flashlight? If you like the company? All the way off. Hello. My name's Butterfly. What's yours? Let's see if I can get it to so it's eighty four five now. Can you tell me your name through this box that I'm holding? Or through that one that you just spoke through? I didn't quite hear that. Could you say that one more time? A little clearer, please? So if you don't want me here anymore, can you turn that flashlight off? Do you want me to leave? Can you turn that flashlight off if you want me to leave? And I'll go. I respect that. Aww, I want to talk. Can you tell me your name? Is it Sarah? Is your name Sarah? Can you turn off that flashlight if your name is Sarah? All the way. You're almost there. Thank you. Hi, Sarah. I'm Butterfly. This is insane. Are you the only one here? Are there more of you? Is that a yes? Just to confirm that that was a yes to if there's more of you, can you turn off the flashlight? If it's just you, could you set off this cat ball right here? All you gotta do is get close to it, put your energy into it, and it'll make pretty lights. Is that you? Are you the only one here? If 
you're the only one speaking to me, can you turn off that flashlight? If there's more than one of you here, can you set off that cat ball? Alright, I'm going to turn the spirit box off now. Thank you for talking to me. Goodbye. Gosh, exactly when the EMF goes off. Why are you here? Because I want to talk to you. I think that you're lonely and I think that you want company. I'm going to move this cat ball a little closer. Right there. Am I right about you being lonely? So do you like talking? If you're lonely, can you set that cat ball back off? You just gotta put your energy into it. Oh, there's the flashlight. Thank you for that. I'll take it. It's really good. I'm sure that takes a lot of energy. Open it. Open it. Open it. Open it. Open it. Open what? Open the door? Open the door for the cell? The door's cracked. I can't leave. Oh my gosh. Just said I can't leave. Why can't you leave? You're trapped here? Do you have unfinished business here? EMF. I'm sorry that you're trapped here. I'll come back and visit you again, but I'm gonna wrap this up for now. Thank you so much for talking to me. But I do have a friend waiting for me, so I don't want to leave him out in the sun too long. <laughs> I am going to say goodbye. Thank you so much. Whatever's here, you have to stay here. You cannot follow me. You cannot come with me. You are not allowed to follow me. I'm sorry, that's just the way it is. But thank you so much for talking to me, and I'll be back. Hello? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> what? I didn't know you were in here. I am. What is that stuff? This is for ghost hunting. Why are you trying to? I'm close. <laughs> Why are you trying to ghost hunt? If there's barely no ghost in here. There is. What? Well, this is an old jail. Did you? Did that beat? I got all kinds of stuff going off. This it's very is cool. This <laughs> no? Are you noping it out the door? <laughs> nope. 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 You just noped it out the door. <laughs> Literally walked out going, nope, nope, nope. <laughs> that was funny. Thank you so much for talking with me. Goodbye. Can you say goodbye? All right, I'm turning it off now. Goodbye.
guys. So coming back here, thank you so much for joining me. Hold on. If you guys like this video and you want to join, uh, like, subscribe, comment. If you've seen anything I didn't while I was taking video, let me know. Uh, any suggestions? Let me know too. I'm open to them. In the meantime, thanks so much and peace out.